Hi, uh, it's Dennis Slayman from UCLA. I want to thank you for being at the spring event for Par for the Cure in this whole process of trying to develop new therapies for breast cancer. I want to particularly thank Joanne and Andy, Brian and Lana, and Brad and Nicole for all of their efforts, as well as everybody in Newcastle who really have made this uh, an important part of what they do. There are no words to really put that would be appropriate to tell you how much we appreciate it. I think the best way to show you our appreciation is with results, and that's what I think we're able to report uh, for tonight, and I'm sorry I can't be there with you. You know the work we did on HER2 positive breast cancer and the fact that we now understand breast cancer isn't one disease. It's a, a series of subtypes of diseases, HER2 positive breast cancer being one of the subtypes. But the thing that's made uh, all the news recently has been for a bigger piece of the breast cancer pie, if you will, and that is the hormone receptor positive breast cancers, which amount to about 60% of all breast cancers. Normally these cancers are treated with hormonal therapy, things like tamoxifen or uh, aromatase inhibitors, and everything has been directed at the hormone receptor pathway. But in the program that uh, you help support, we discovered that there was another pathway that may be critically important in this, a pathway called CDK4 um, that plays a role in how some of these tumors escape from the hormonal therapy. And so we um, did a trial in women who had hormone receptor positive tumors and used this new drug uh, called an anti-CDK4-6 drug and found that when we compared it to the best available standard therapy, we were able to improve the outcomes more than three times what we previously seen. And this is enormously exciting data. It's a, as big an impact as we've seen in any subtype of breast cancer so far, including the HER2 story. We know how hard you work on this program all through the year, not just for the event tonight, but all through the year. And I wanna once again thank you and tell you how seriously we take your efforts and wanna return those efforts with, with efforts on our part that really make an impact on a disease. And I think that's what we were able to report this year. We're very excited about the progress that's been made. Um, on a personal level, it's really amazing for me to have my hometown involved at the level that it is in this work. I want to add my thanks for the efforts that uh, all the uh, people in school, all the children and their teachers, uh, starting from uh, kindergarten to primary school, middle school, the George Washington Middle School, and the Newcastle High School for all their efforts in the fundraising. The King and Queen of Hearts for their efforts in, in raising funds for the Breast Cancer Research Program. My thanks to Mrs. Shannon Gary and the choir, the high school choir, and having arranged a sing for the cure that raised money for these efforts. Uh, thank you for all of that. And uh, once again, the Esposito family for everything that they've done to make this uh, a, an issue that stays front and center until we really make the impacts that we want to see for women who are challenged with breast cancer.